New astronomical observations and findings regularly make the headlines, helping us and experts to better understand the characteristics of the cosmos with all its different formations. Find out how researchers have now managed to identify a magnetic field on an exoplanet for the first time, and how the moon's magnetic field once protected our blue home planet in today's video. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries and thrilling spectacles in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Magnetic Field Discovered on an Exoplanet for the First Time that life on our blue home planet could blossom in such a diverse way, we owe to the interaction of several different factors. Besides the fact that the Earth is within the habitable zone of the solar system, so that water can exist here consistently in liquid form, there's also the influence of the terrestrial magnetic field, which paved the way for the development of terrestrial life. How important the existence of a distinctive magnetic field is in reality becomes clear to us if we take a look at one of our immediate neighbor planets. Experts are certain that the disappearance of the magnetic field on Mars caused the red planet to lose large parts of its original atmosphere. From an astronomical point of view, the magnetic field acts primarily as a kind of natural shield, protecting our blue home planet for the most part from the incoming solar wind and cosmic radiation, but also in the field of geology, in the orientation of living beings, and possibly also in climatic developments, the terrestrial magnetic field plays an essential role. Due to these fundamental influences, we can therefore state that finding planetary magnetic fields within space research represents an important consideration in the search for life-friendly celestial bodies. However, while experts have long been unable to identify the magnetic field of a planet outside our solar system in the past, there are now indications that researchers have recently achieved this milestone for the first time. Specifically, observations by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that exoplanet Happy 11 b is surrounded by a stream of charged carbon particles, which in turn forms a comet-like tail and points away from the celestial body's ancestral host star. The researchers who recorded this exciting discovery see in these circumstances valid proof that the corresponding planet has a strong magnetic field. The fascinating observations, however, were made possible by the orbital characteristics of the alien celestial body. According to this, Hat P 11b passes by its central star every five days as seen from Earth, which made it possible for the experts to analyze the effects of the particles on the radiated starlight at regular intervals. To identify the presence of these particles in the planet's magnetosphere, as well as the aforementioned tail, Hubble worked in the ultraviolet range. The comet-like tail of the celestial body is formed by escaping ions, moving away from the host star at a breathtaking speed of almost 10,000 miles per hour. In fact, the tail could be detected up to a distance of one astronomical unit, which corresponds to about 90 million miles. As mentioned at the beginning, the existence of a strong magnetic field plays a weighty role when it comes to the question whether the planet is possibly habitable. However, scientists generally agree that Hat P 11b is not likely to have life-friendly conditions, as it is significantly hotter than Venus. Although the exoplanet has only 8% of Jupiter's mass, experts believe the celestial body is more like a mini Jupiter than Neptune. For astronomical research as a whole, however, the discovery of additional magnetic fields always holds great potential for advancing knowledge. Because in the course of the investigation of the magnetic fields of our solar system, the experts have not yet shown why some celestial bodies possess a strong magnetic field and others not at all. Accordingly, each new discovery is like another step on the path that will one day lead researchers to the knowledge of how widespread magnetic fields are and where they are most likely to appear. Common Magnetic Field of Moon and Earth 
A few years ago, a scientific theory hit the headlines that put the shared past of our Earth and its natural satellite into a whole new light. In detail, the scientist's model concluded that the magnetic fields of the two celestial bodies were connected until about 3.5 billion years ago. This cosmic coupling is supposed to have led not least to the fact that our blue home planet kept its atmosphere. Mainly, the natural magnetic shield of our terrestrial home is formed by those processes which take place in the regions immediately adjacent to the Earth's core. To be more precise, it's the electromagnetic interplay of solid and liquid iron that generates this so-called geodynamo. When the Earth was still in its cosmic infancy some billion years ago, it possessed a liquid interior. At that time, it could have been therefore convection currents which produced the magnetic field of the young planet. But what about in the case of the Moon? Nowadays, the interior of the natural satellite presents itself as too solid and too cold to be able to create a magnetic field. This circumstance leads not least to the fact that the surface of our constant companion is exposed to the incoming cosmic radiation more or less without protection. After the birth of the moon, however, the celestial body still carried a large part of its formation heat. This realization is no novelty in the ranks of experts, however. Many researchers suspected for a long time that the iron core of the satellite was still too small, even in the early days of the solar system, to function as a motor of a natural magnetic field. The much-publicized Apollo missions, however, ultimately provided evidence that the Moon did indeed possess a magnetic field shortly after its formation. In detail, the analysis of Moon rocks even brought the realization that the former magnetic field of the Moon was at least as strong or even stronger than the present one of our terrestrial home. This in turn led the experts to a no less exciting conclusion. Since the Earth and the Moon were much closer to each other in the period between 4.2 and 3.4 4 billion years ago than they are today, the satellite's magnetic field could also have directly influenced the Earth at that time. To determine whether this was true, NASA's James Green and his colleagues modeled a geophysical simulation. In the course of this, experts reconstructed the magnetic fields of the Moon and the Earth to recreate the conditions of 4 billion years ago. While the two celestial bodies are separated by a distance of 60 Earth radii today, the corresponding distance at that time was only 18 Earth radii. The astonishing realization which the model simulation brought to light, as recently as 3.5 billion years ago, the magnetic fields of the two celestial bodies were connected with each other. These connections occurred, therefore, above all, in the higher and middle latitudes between the field lines, whereby finally an overlapping magnetic field was produced. According to the results of the simulations, this era of the connected magnetic fields might have lasted some hundred million years. For our then still young home planet, this connection might have possessed a significant advantage. The moon's magnetic field provided additional protection against solar wind. In fact, scientists believe it is conceivable that this linkage of magnetic fields saved our Earth from losing its atmosphere. If the planet had lost its natural protective cover, life would in all probability never have been able to flourish there. Due to the doubled protection of the linked magnetic fields, the zones at the polar regions of the Earth, where the solar wind could pass through the magnetic grid, were reduced. If the satellite was on the sunny side of our blue home planet, it would have almost completely shielded the incoming solar wind, even during intense eruptions. But what processes ultimately led to the breaking of the link? between the two magnetic fields. The end of this cosmic connection probably found its beginning when the moon slowly but surely began to cool down. As a result, the magnetic field of the satellite lost more and more of its original intensity. The calculations of scientists show that the magnetic field of the satellite was ultimately so weak by approximately 3.2 billion years ago that essentially no more connection existed between the two celestial bodies. In the same breath, the moon moved further and further away from the Earth, whereby it also lost the last remains of its former magnetic field, an estimated 1.5 billion years ago. As exciting as this described scenario seems, it still comes with a big catch. So far, this constellation exists only in theory. However, this could possibly change in the foreseeable future. For example, samples of rock and ice are to be collected from the moon's south pole as part of the Artemis mission. If the magnetic fields of the satellite and the Earth were indeed once interwoven, the corresponding materials could contain gas samples that provide evidence of the former interaction.
Now it's your turn. What do you think about the exciting theories and discoveries of the astronomers? Drop us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback on today's video in the comments. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.